everybody, my name is Adriana. I'm here at the Science Gallery at the Manitoba Museum, and today we're talking about the science behind pulley chairs. So if you've ever come to the Science Gallery, you may have noticed one of the best exhibits here are our pulley chairs. So these chairs you can take a seat on and you see, of course, nice little rope. When you pull the rope, you're gonna come up with the chair. Now these guys work with the simple machine, of course, the pulley. You can see this red chair has a pulley rope wrapped around once. And what this does is when you pull it, it actually helps distribute your weight so you can pull yourself up easier. So a simple machine is a machine like this that makes jobs easier. Now we can add pulleys and as we do that, we distribute the weight and make it easier to lift up. So this one, for example, our yellow pulley, you can see is wrapped around twice and now it makes the weight's easier to pull up because it's distributed. Now if we go all the way to the blue chair, now we've got three rope wrapped around and that means that this is the easiest chair of the three to pull but the tricky thing is it's not always going to be the same when you pull up the easy chair you actually have to pull up more of the rope to go higher what's happening is because your rope is wrapped around more you have to pull more of it around to actually get all of that weight up to the top so if i keep pulling 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 i have to pull it up higher and use more rope compared to the red one. Now, if you are going on these chairs, you can already see if I pull it up and it's empty, I have to put all of my weight down to bring it back down. So if you wanna try out the pulley chairs, I have two suggestions. Don't pull up an empty chair because last thing you want is for it to be stuck up at the top and then no one can race on it. The other thing is if you're pulling your rope all the way across the gallery like this, what's happening is now you're creating an angle for the forces and you're actually making your job harder. That's gonna be a lot harder to pull up whoever's on the chair. Instead, you should take a seat on the chair yourself and pull yourself up without the help of anyone else, because this is a test of your strength, not your friends. And this also is easier because as your rope is parallel to the others, then the forces are much easier to distribute. So when you guys come out with your friends or your family, you can race them against the chairs. And I have an awesome friend right over here. Everybody say hello to Tyler. And uh, he hasn't been to the pulley chairs before and he doesn't know I know this trick, but I'm going to race on the blue pulley today, Tyler. How about you try the red one and we'll see who is the best and the fastest at getting to the top. All right, are you ready on the count of three? three two, one, go. No way. No, I lost. So not fair. I had to pull more rope, so I, that was hard for me too, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming to see our awesome exhibits here at the Science Gallery. I hope to see you in person soon, and have a great day.